Hello, and welcome to an unscripted Stone Tech Sunday. Today's suggested or recommended dose is again 50 milligrams of your favorite gummy. Please remember 45 minutes activation time. This is a quick Syntrix demonstration. We currently have just this oscillator here being gated on and off through the envelope generator and feeding the main output left and via the reverb, the main output right. Levels are scaled accordingly, so I can get some reasonable balance between the reverb send or the reverb return and the dry signal on channel one. Again, this is a demo um, point out now that this is the reverb circuit and this is now completely useful um, and probably exceeds the original specifications of the VCS3. So as I turn up the return here from mix to wet, you can hear kind of the reverb drift out of phase. Yeah, there's a lot of out of phase information on there. And I haven't ascertained if it's actually 180 degrees out of phase because it seems so frequency dependent. Now, there's no noise from the matrix. I'll turn it off. And again, you can barely hear it. I'm going to go ahead and just turn off. Oscillator 2, there is silence, but I've also got the grid off, the matrix is off, so I'm just going to go ahead and re-enable it. And I'll be honest with you, I can't hear anything, can you? Now, YouTube will do something to screw this up, I'm sure, but the point is, is this is completely usable at the low levels that I use it at. For instance, if you want the classic Pink Floydian wind, let's just go ahead and turn that up, shall we? I even have the high-end EQ on channel 2 cranked up all the way. Again, no noise. And I can hear the springy spring springing in there. The levels are low. Let's get some more. You know, of course, about gain scaling within the synthy and the Syntrix. It's very, very, very important. You don't always have to use the full amplitude uh, push pin or LED. Uh, I suggest going all the way down uh, to the dimmest as possible. It reduces the noise, and in addition to that, it uh, maximizes the distortion-free aspects of this device because they, they, there's actually a linear portion of a synthy or of a Syntrix where you can get some very sweet, sweet synth-like sounds out of it. It isn't all noise, boys, or girls, or everybody so let's go ahead and get some distortion in here from the filter tends to happen a little bit more when there we go it's starting to get in there Maximum reverb return. See, there it is. The Syntrex can be quieted. It can be tamed. It's a wonderful beast. 
why not try to tame it? Okay, as always, remember that thing 